Hello guys, welcome back. I was just exploring OpenAI's website and I found a really cool feature. Let's say the hidden feature that they introduced in the playground itself. So I just thought uh, of sharing with you. As you can see here, I just provided the information chat with PDF. Then it provides me the system instructions. So if you are building applications with AI, you know that you need to have a good system prompt or system instructions provided to that particular application, right? So here you can see this is in the free beta version. So you can also try this. So I just ask simple question and now it provides me all the instructions for the system. And you can see the steps, the output format, notes and so on. And you can tweak this and implement it in your application. If you are new, I will walk you through each and every step from where you can get into this place. But if you are already a user, because this is mainly focused for the developers, but if you also want to try, then I will provide you step by step instructions. If you have already used this platform, then I will just say you from where I get this. So you don't need to watch this uh, whole video. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the website, right? I showed you before, but let's go from the beginning. So I will just first go outside of this and I will just search for platform.openai.com. So this is the website and I, I have already logged in here. So if you are not logged in, you will not get this uh, playground. Now let me open a new window and I will go to the platform open AI and you can see here I'm not logged in, right? So I don't see this playground option. So you need to be logged in. Please create the account, sign up here. And once you are logged in, you will be in this uh, platform. So the functionality I'm going to show you is inside this playground. Just go inside the playground. And here, this is the playground where you can try different models provided by OpenAI, right? This is the chat button or the menu here. I will make this little bit bigger. And here you can choose different models. You can see all the different models provided by OpenAI. You can choose any of these, for example, preview or a GPT-4 mini and something. You can see once you choose this, other things also changes as it goes, right? So this is in the beta. And if you go down here, preview, it will show different functionality. Just go here and try. So real time is also another thing implemented. I will not go through that in this video, but you can have a real time applications with OpenAI's model right now. And the assistance, I have already created a video. If you want to know what it is, I will provide the link in the description. Go there. Uh, you can also go through this. So if you go here, it says a speech generated a speech will appear here. So when you write the text, a speech will be generated and the completions uh, is here where you can type something and it will provide the completion. So these are the functionalities that OpenAI provides. If you go to the chat, you can choose different models. Let's just go with the default provided here, GPT-40, right? The thing that I was actually trying here is it's kind of a hidden functionality. So I thought of creating the video so you might also find it helpful. So here, when we type something, what we do is enter uh, user message, right? So normally we go here and type things. And this is the user. You can go here and say assistant uh, user. This is the functionality where you can upload the image, link to the image and so on. Here you can just go here and type you are a helpful assistant something something the system instructions right. Instead of writing there by yourself here you can see there is a thing called generate. So this is actually what I am talking about. If you click in the generate now you can see it is in the free beta. I didn't find any articles about this from OpenAI itself. So I thought of sharing with you. So this is the beta. Now here you can describe what you are using the model for and we will generate system instructions. There are many places where people have created applications that creates the system instructions for you. But this is coming from OpenAI itself. So it's uh, if you are using this platform and it's in the free uh, state, so why not to use it? Before you were just trying to say system instructions because we feel a little bit, okay, we don't need to provide information kind of things when we create the application, right? We mainly focus on the user prompt. If the system prompt is not good, then whatever the user prompt will be, it does not provide the realistic or correct answer. So let's say that I was going to maybe write here, uh, you are a helpful assistant who provides okay who provides answer of pdf documents maybe this was the system instruction that i was going to write right instead of this what you can do now is i will just copy this i'll go here in the generate i will just paste it here 
and ask it to generate the uh, system instructions right i was going to just write one sentence of the system instructions and now you can see here this is the uh, let's say the enhanced version of that particular prompt so here it says provide accurate and relevant answers to questions related to pdf documents by analyzing the content effectively it's much better already right so here it says that okay ensure that you understand the context conduct a thoughtful analysis of the pdf content deliver clear concise and accurate answers based on the analyzed content of the pdf what are the steps that it needs to go through right read and comprehend the question locate the specific sections and analyze the content provide a well reasoned and concise answer based on your analysis and output format you can also provide the output format provide a structure response and you you can even provide the examples so this is really good because many of uh, my colleagues they want a simple system prompt but without the examples but now you can see here what they are recommending us to use is write a really good uh, system instructions where there is the steps also right and then there is the output format and the example so it knows how to deal with your user prompt right and then there is the example one and two and also the notes saying that okay pay attention to the context and so on this is the simple enhanced version of the system instructions being provided but what you can tweak this according to your uh, context so you can just copy this and paste it in your system prompt and do some modifications maybe you want to have something else and one thing is also uh, this can be used i well that is the paid version now of chat gpt where you can create custom gpts right there also you need to write the uh, system instructions what you can do now is if you are planning to create or if you already have the custom gpts created by yourself what you can do now is go here uh, in the generate write some instructions what you are planning to create in the uh, in the my custom gpts just paste the uh, system instructions, modify a little bit here and there and try uh, with different system prompts. Use the one that performs the best. This is really cool functionality. And by the way, one additional thing is also if you are in the assistant also, the same thing is also appearing here nowadays. So if you see here, I go to the assistant, you can give some name here. And here in the system instructions, you can see there is this icon here appearing same as before you can just click this one and it is the same thing here so free beta you can just write something here based on your name or something that it will create system instructions for you so you can already get benefit of the system instructions written by the ai itself for you i find it helpful i hope you also find it helpful just go here play around with it I don't know when they will make this paid version, but now it is in the free beta as of today, 13th of October, 2024. Depends when you watch this video. But if you still find this free beta, then you can already use this in the free beta. But also I think that if it is also paid version, it is kind of a good functionality to have in order to create a good system instructions uh, to create your uh, application. So that's all I want to share in this video. I hope you find this helpful. Let me know in the comment section if it helps you or if you have any video suggestions for me to create feel free to do that also in the comment section thank you for watching and see you in the next video